Destruction of genetically engineered sugar beets in county brings in the FBI. The FBI is calling the destruction of two crops of gene genetically engineered sugar beets in Jackson County economic sabotage. According to an FBI release, one 1,000 plant crop was destroyed during the night on June 8th, and another 5,500 plant crop was destroyed overnight on June 11th, each on separate properties Syngenta partially leases from private landowners. The crimes are considered economic sabotage and a violation of federal law involving damage to commercial agricultural enterprises. Steele, that's a FBI agent Steele, said domestic terrorism charges are certainly an avenue that will be looked at. It depends on the particular facts of investigation that are uncovered between now and then. Now, I'm not a farmer, I'm not an agriculture uh, specialist in any way, but to say that damaging crops is somehow an act of terrorism is a little far-fetched as far as I'm concerned. You know, they brought in two FBI agents, and instead of calling this, uh, you know, property damage or some type of vandalism, and, you know, I definitely, you know, feel for the farmers, you know, that's your crop, that's how you eat and feed your family and so forth, but to call it uh, a sense, uh, call it a scene, a crime scene, is uh, beyond belief. Uh, I just really can't uh, fathom how they would do that. And it just goes on to make you think, uh, people are speculating that this may be some type of uh, I can't believe I'm saying this, a GMO false flag. Uh, they're saying many activists in the community are saying, hey, you know, we're anti-GMO, we're proactive against groups such as Monsanto, but we have no desire to go out and destroy their crops. And it leads us onto this article, modified wheat is discovered in Oregon. Unapproved genetically engineered wheat has been found growing on a farm in Oregon. The wheat has the, is the same type that has been developed by Monsanto. The Department of Agriculture said it is not known yet whether any of the wheat got into the food supply or into grain shipments. Now let's take this into perspective. The last one with the sugar beets, the last article with the sugar beets, was talking about how they brought in the FBI on this. Uh, in Oregon, it's just the Department of Agriculture. So why the feds on one and not on the other? It just leads to more speculation. This could be some type of GMO false flag. There have been activists who have contacted us uh, from, the, uh, from the first incident with the sugar beets saying, hey, we had nothing to do with this. You know, we're all uh, a tight knit community uh, banded together against GMOs and we had nothing to do with this. And, you know, these th crops turned up missing and damaged and so forth. But we have this other situation in Oregon where the FBI is not called in. And, you know, if you would bring in the FBI on this one, why not bring in the FBI on that one? And you can read the rest of that in the New York Times. And it's just another way to get you into the system, to call you a terrorist, it's like giving you felonies for releasing balloons and so forth. But they're saying, no, this goes beyond, you know, uh, misdemeanors and municipalities. You're a terrorist if you participate in these actions. And it brings us to this. Bureaucrat, water complaints could be act of terrorism. You need to make sure that when you make water quality complaints, you have basis because federally, if there's no water quality issues, that can be considered under Homeland Security an act of terrorism. So the Harvard studies on fluoride, have, they're not a, a factual basis to uh, make these claims about water purification, about fluoride in the water and so forth. So uh, maybe this gentleman uh, who was making these claims that you're a terrorist for even questioning the water supply, uh, maybe he should look into those type of things. And it's just that, just like we said with the last article, it's just another way to rope you into being a terrorist and to cap this off We'll show you this one. This one is from September of last year from Paul Joseph Watson. DOJ funded training manual lists bumper stickers as terrorism. Bumper stickers. Bumper stickers are now a terrorist threat. The state and local anti-terrorism -terror training funded by the Department of Justice lists political bumper stickers expressing opposition to the United Nations and the support for the Bill of Rights as indicators of terrorist activity. Now, if we can scroll down a little bit, I think it's, yeah, it's right there. Let's, let's just read some of these bumper stickers. Know your rights or lose them, and also get us out of the United Nations. Things such as that, and I think if we scroll down a little bit more, we can actually see some of these bumper stickers. Okay, yeah, let's, let's take a look here. All right, call to arms, get us out of the United Nations. Oh, that's, uh, that sounds pretty wicked. What else they got down, down there? Okay, got a guy tagging. He shouldn't be tagging, but, you know, whatever. All right, and just more of the same. You know, if you, if you don't like GMOs, if you, uh, if you like bumper stickers, and you don't like being in the U.N., if you, if you say, hey, I don't want somebody from the U.N. to come and save me in a zombie invasion, which they really didn't do anyway, you know, World War Z, if anybody had a chance to see that, I didn't 
really think too much of the film. But uh, yeah, just say, I want to get out of the UN, and that's, uh, that's how it goes. Johnny Appleseed was born during the Revolutionary War. He's not just a legend. And in more than five states, he introduced apples that had not even been grown in the colonies. Later, the seeds from plants he planted and cultivated and some of the varieties he developed spread across the United States. And it was Johnny Appleseed teaching the colonists and then the new Americans after we won independence the love of planting fruit trees that introduced that idea to North America. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a revolutionary act to unplug from the television, to unplug from the computer and all the globalist propaganda and to go out in your backyard or your front yard or planters at your apartment or on the roof of the building where you live and to plant a garden. Become the Johnny Appleseed of your community with seeds from the InfoWars Seed Center at InfoWarsStore.com. The simple act of planting fruits and vegetables and then tending them and taking care of them and then sharing them with friends and family is a revolutionary act against tyranny. The globalists, first and foremost, do not want us to be self-sufficient. The crony anti-free market capitalist, the fascist, are using socialism and collectivism to shut down societies. Stalin in Poland and in Ukraine and other areas starved on record more than 10 million people over five years by not letting them grow their own crops and collectivizing them. Mao killed between 65 million and 80 plus million people doing this same thing. The UN says they will use food as a weapon. They use genetic evil to attack the earth and major GMO companies have been caught going into growth belts around the world, even where GMO is illegal, and planting seeds everywhere to infect the genetics of the original crops. Almost all of the thousands of varieties of Mexican corn has been infected. They are in a genetic war against everyone. That's why we have to get these seeds and not just plant them on our own gardens and not just give them as gifts to friends and family to plant spring and summer and fall gardens. I'm calling on you to go out into the green belts, to go out into the areas and plant secret gardens. No, not of marijuana, but of the hundreds and hundreds of incredible high quality uh, vegetables and herbs and fruit plants that are here. Lemons and oranges, the list goes on and on. They will grow uh, plum trees, grape trees. They will grow almost everywhere in the U.S. We can literally, not just buying these products from InfoWarsStore.com, but from wherever you get them. This aggressive program literally just came to me one morning when I woke up about 4 a.m. realizing that we've got to counter their genetic war against us with original real crops developed over eons on this planet. We have the lowest prices we bought it in the biggest bulk that some of these companies have ever seen to ship this directly to you from the InfoWars Command Center. We stand for life. We stand for liberty. We stand for self-sufficiency. Go to InfoWarsStore.com, click on the Seed Center, and as of taping this, we have the seven top respected brands. We intend to continue to do research and find other companies, other specialties, other varieties to really take action. The InfoWars Store Seed Center has the largest online selection of heirloom, non-GMO seeds. Check out these products from our newest supplier, Heirloom Organics. The Medicine Garden, for a natural remedy. The Tea Garden, that contains every important tea herb you can grow. Fruit lovers, with 12 varieties. And the Tobacco Pack, additive and pesticide free. Join the gardening revolution today at InfoWarsStore.com. This is a revolutionary action we're asking you to take. Plant seeds everywhere today. Nurture them, bring them to fruit, and pass on the knowledge to others. Become human again. Discover your roots in the soil. And remember, the revolution against tyranny is growing.